Hello, football fans, and welcome to this Native American rivalry between these two schools in the great state of New York. We have the number 16th ranked Iroquois Eagles representing the Big North Conference and their biggest rival in the number 22 ranked Hiwatha Chiefs. A battle that should be a great rivalry game here in the Big North Conference. So if you're excited about today's ACSA primetime action, do me a favor and please smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you haven't been new. We're on the road to 1K and I would love for you to join me on that journey as the recording of this video. With all that being said, it's time to get into some game action, shall we? So it is now officially time to get this great Native American rivalry going between the Hawafa Chiefs and the Iroquois Eagles. As the Eagles will actually start with the football. Start off with Kelly going on the left hand side. Able to pick up a first down on the quarterback sneak as Mile Kelly doing another quarterback sneak once again. This time only picking up five yards, but looks like Iroquois offense, they're making it loud and clear that Miles Kelly is going to be the focal point of his offense here today. And he's going to need a big game here in order to come away with a top 25 victory against this number 21 ranked team in the nation. Is now third and five, going to the right hand side, getting it to Robinson down the right sideline and is finally forced down across the 50 yard line but they're in trouble here a few plays later they have a third and long coming up here getting it off to Kelly who nearly gets the first down marker thought he got there but the officials disagree and surprisingly the Eagles decided to play it away despite only needing one yard to pick up the first down and so with that being said, that means the Hawafa Chiefs will get their first possession of this ball game. Here with 7.45 left and what a way to make a man miss. Holt looks like he was going to be brought down clothesline matter of fact in order to get it done. As now second and four going over the middle to Hines and is able to pick up another first down. Nice play there. As now, first and ten again. Holt dropping back, going over the middle. He's got Munson, who's able to make the catch and get to midfield themselves. Both teams starting kind of with methodical drives, but the Iroquois couldn't really do much with it. We'll see if the Eagles can do, or the Chiefs, I should say, uh, do anything with that as they're able to pick up the first down once again. As there's another, you know, third and long coming up here for the Chiefs facing third and eleven. Holt will drop back the pass, scramble right away as he's forced out of pocket and is able to pick up the first down conversion. Nice way to pick up the first down as Deshaun Holt and company got themselves a drive going as they get to the right hand side over to Tallis. And Tallis nearly picks up the first down as well for the Chiefs. As now we got ourselves second and two coming up here. Holt. Dropping back to pass, looking and going to the opposite side of the field, finding his reliable tailback, and Tolis, who nearly finds the end zone, but is forced out of bounds inside the five-yard line, though. As now we got ourselves first and goal coming up here. Holt dropping back to pass. He's looking around, going to throw it to the right-hand side. Incomplete pass, though. But still, facing second and goal, though, Holt will hand it off to Tolis. Tolis! Hurdles over a man and finds his way to the end zone. Touchdown, Hawafa. What a way to get the first touchdown of this ball game. A fantastic hurdle that we just witnessed right there. As now the Iroquois Eagles will look to try to respond to that long touchdown drive. As they had a decent going drive previously to start this football game. But they did have to settle for a field goal eventually though. Is now facing first and ten once again. Robinson able to pick up eight yards on the right hand side, going heavy with the ground game early on here. No surprises here, man. You know, definitely, you know, a methodical, you know, beat the other team up kind of game so far. Nothing too flashy from either side so far in this game. As we do have first and ten, Kelly going to try to scramble out and is going to actually get there. Out of the pocket and get another first down for the Eagles. As we have another third and long coming up here. We'll see if the Iroquois Nation can convert here. It's now third and eight. Kelly going to drop back the pass. Going to go over the middle. It's nearly intercepted. But either way, the Eagles having to punt this football away. So 
Drive turning out even worse than the last time out, but to improve some silver lining, they do at least force the Chiefs deep in their own territory. So a lot of yards that they need to pick up before they even try, you know, and think about getting points. So, but we'll see if they can at least get out of the shadow of their own goal line, pick up at least first one first down, I should say. As we got third and three coming up here, Holt in the shotgun, ready to take the snap to start this third down play. As Holt will actually hand it off to Tullis on the right hand side right away and picks up a first down, and that will help the Hawafa football team at least get out of the shadow of their own goal line for right now. As now, two plays later, going to Tullis once again, some tough running. As they able to run in between the tackles right there to pick up another first down for Hawafa. As now another first and ten going deep downfield. Trying to find a man, but it's incomplete though. As now we got another second and ten here going for a little five-yard game with Tolis once again. We'll see if they go to him one more time. And it looks like they might. Looks like some seven-man personnel, two wideouts. As Holt will actually drop back to pass though. Tall is trying to slip out, but it doesn't get the football though. As Holt was running for his life once again. So not too terribly much happening here in this first quarter of playing. But the Hawafa Chiefs do carry a 7-3 lead after this opening quarter of play. So now we'll go ahead and get the second quarter started up in here. As Joe Kelly will drop back to pass. Actually scramble to the left hand side to pick up seven more yards. Pass defense doing a real good job. But the defensive line does need to do a better job of containment. Otherwise this game would be a wrap. And that seems to be the case for a Hoafa offense too. Having a hard time for receivers getting loose. But that being said though. Still a lot of time. You know at least uh, make adjustments to the good old game plan. As Kelly gets him across the 40-yard line thanks to a nice scramble. But two plays later, though, third and two coming up for the Eagles. Kelly in the shotgun, ready to take the snap for them on this third down play as well. As Kelly will drop back, go over to the left-hand side, gets it to Williams. Gets it across the 30-yard line for another first down on that one. As another first down is coming in up for the Eagles. We'll see if they can build off it though as they go to the left hand side again. But this time it's deflected away at the very last second. And now second and ten. Kelly dropping back. Going to the right hand side. Gets it to Martin. Who has the ball knocked away from at the very last second. Nice defensive stand right there. And so now third and long for the Iroquois. We'll see if they can pick up this first down. Or will they have to settle for another field goal. As Kelly will drop back, pressure in his face, throws at the last second to Walters. The pass was completed, but it is well short of the marker. And the Iroquois Nation having to settle for another field goal. As Hawafa enjoying a lead still, but it's being reduced. Now only a one point game, so we'll see if the Chiefs can put more points on the board. As McKenzie actually catches that pass off the deflection. Is able to get across the 40 yard line in the process. So nice little play to start the drive. We'll see if they can build off of it. As now they're already facing second and 10. Holt grind the throw to the left hand side, but that's also deflected away. So ever since that nice little play off the deflection, they haven't really done anything with the football. Because it is now third and 10. Holt dropping back to pass, going over in the middle. Gets it to McKenzie. Makes a play, but cannot get to that first down marker still. And so, Hawafa keeps it at a one-point game because they can't get anything going on their previous drive. And now for the first time today, at least since very early in the first quarter of play, the Eagles can reestablish the lead. We'll see if they can do it on this drive, though, as Kelly will actually run it up the middle between the tackles. Does not slide down though, so certainly gets lit up like a Christmas tree, but still a nice gain. It's now first and ten, going to Robertson up the middle, trying to get some running room, but and does to a degree, picking up six yards on that carry. It's now second and four coming up. Can we drop it back to pass? Going over the middle to Martini, and Martini able to pick up the first down, besides taking a heavy shot right there. Kelly now going to the left-hand side, though. Going to Thomas, but that's broken up anyways. 
But that is an incompletion, though, and that turns it to second and ten. As Kelly will drop back to pass, he's looking around, going over the left-hand side to Williams, who gets across the 50-yard line. First down for the Iroquois. And still plenty of time left on the clock. 5.30 left in this second quarter of play as the Eagles continue to move downfield. Now facing second and five, Robertson going to try to run up the gut and is able to find the running room necessary for the first down. But they have stalled out here in the last couple of drives. We'll see if that is the case for the third time or will luck be on their side the third time, but it's just short of the marker. So the Iroquois do settle for a field goal, but at the very least, they are able to go into halftime with the 9-7 lead. We'll see if we see more offense. So with that being said, it's time to get the third quarter of play right away. And the Huafa Chiefs actually did get the football to start the third quarter of play, but they actually went free and out. So here we are with the Iroquois with the football. We'll see if things go better for them. And so far, so good, able to pick up the first down. As now, Kelly dropping back to pass. He's looking around and is going to throw this thing up the middle, and it's incomplete. Oh, that would have been a really nice play to see. One thing I will say, though, is despite this being a low-scoring game so far, we have not seen any free and outs, at least compared to some of these other games. Both teams have done, you know, able to move the ball between the 20s, but neither of them really going through and, you know, finishing drives. That's been an issue for both teams. So whosoever offense picks it up first, I think is going to end up winning this football game. As we have a fumble, and Becker is going to pick it up for the Chiefs. We have our first turnover of this game, giving it back to Hawafa. And now the Chiefs are on the field. Looking to go on the warpath and get the lead right back. As Holt will drop back to throw once again. Gets it to Munson, who's able to run away from some defenders initially before being brought down across the 30-yard line. It's now first and 10. Holt going over the middle. It's incomplete. Threw it a little too high for his big body tight end. Now they'll have 2nd and 10, Holt dropping back again, trying to get to the right-hand side this time, but throws it into double coverage. And so all of a sudden, facing 3rd and long, what do the Chiefs do? Holt in the shotgun, ready to drop back and pass. Looking around, he is searching, gonna get it over to Mudson. It's incomplete. But the Hawafa Chiefs do at least get a field goal on the board. As we have another turnover by the Iroquois. They went free and out, but they're able to tack on more points. What the kind of game this big that has been so far here today is there's another fumble. Hawafa recovering it again. So three consecutive possessions for the Iroquois. Ending in turnovers. They are fumbling the bag as the kids these days are now saying is that's a first down for the chiefs they're driving inside the red zone now is now first and ten holt looking going to the right hand side throw it up for his receiver but it's incomplete as we have another third and long coming up here Holt gonna try to throw it short to perish but it's well short of the marker though and so Hawafa, once again, has to go ahead and settle for another field goal. The kick is up, and it is no good. The kick is no good whatsoever. And so, again, just fumbling the bag, all these opportunities to go up ahead and establish an even bigger lead, but that simply hasn't been happening, though. As the Iroquois Nation are able to force a turnover of their own. They do go free and out though. And so Holt will go ahead and start another drive for the Chiefs. We'll see if they can finally get into the end zone for the first time in the second half. They've had plenty of chances. But they have simply have not been able to get the job done. We'll see if that changes here. As we have third and one for Holt and company. 
throwing it over the middle and look what happens another interception but another free and out at the same time though they don't get any points either it's still 13 to 9 the Hawafa, I swear, is trying their best to blow this game, but the Iroquois Nation does not necessarily wanted it, though. As we go into one more quarter of playing, a sloppy third quarter. But we'll decide over the course of the next 10 minutes what, who's going to win the great Native American rivalry between the number 16 team in the nation and the Iroquois Eagles and the Hawafa Chiefs sitting at number 21. As we now have third and eight here, Holt trying to get the first, first down of his quarter. But it is no good though, as the Chiefs have the football again. We'll see if they can do something. They had plenty of opportunities to go do something. They forced a couple of turnovers, but a lot of free and outs in that third quarter of play, however. So the offense definitely needs to pick it up because if they don't, they might lose this game. As they go to the fullback, Carlos Steg, who pummels ahead just far enough to pick up the first down. As now, two plays later, Kelly going over the middle again, and he, nobody was home, though. Actually wasn't terribly sure who he was throwing it to. So the Chiefs will be facing third and six coming up here. As now, Kelly going to go ahead and move it forward, able to... Make some guys miss, and he's able to pick up the first down. It's now first and ten coming up here. Kelly going to go ahead and move forward second and four. Now second and four coming up. Kelly going to hand it off to Robertson, who's able to move forward to get it across the 40-yard line. Eagles, man, they're on having their best drive since the first quarter of play. Actually, the first drive and it ends a lot better, though. Mabin finds the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles. But look at this. They are also going to go for two here. They don't need to do this. So definitely a bold strategy, Con. We'll see if it works out for them as Kelly is ready to take the snap. Kelly... Dropping back to pass, he's looking, makes a beautiful spin cycle move. And they are able to get the two-point conversion, even though it wasn't necessary maybe at the time. But it does extend the lead to four. So because they went for the two-point conversion and it actually worked, Hawafa needs to get into the end zone in order to retake the lead. A field goal will not be helping them at this juncture. I think Holt knows that all too well, fighting forward desperately for the first down and able to get it. As now they'll hand it off to Parardi, able to pick up six yards there for a nice little gain. As now two plays later, third and two coming up, Holt needing the first down, gives it to his main squeeze and Tullis, who does the work in picking up that first down. As now first and ten. Going to Tolis again, but there's a miscommunication. And that could cost them heavily as they give the ball back to the Eagles. With 5.30 left in this ball game, they could go ahead and run out the clock if they chose to. Or we start chewing clock, but either way, I would imagine the four-minute offense would start to come out at this time. As now we have a first and ten inside Hawafa territory. As Robertson pulls off a beautiful spin move. Able to pick up the first down getting across the 30 yard line. But you can't always run the football still. Even in the four minute offense. A third down here requires them to pass the football here. As they try to go for it all. But it's overthrown. The Iroquois Eagles settling for a field goal. And with it still being a seventh point game the Chiefs have an opportunity to tie this game up and they look hell-bent on doing so as they got first and ten once again Holt going up the middle picking up some good yards making a couple guys miss in the process we certainly love to see that it's now another first and ten this time going the tallest switches direction was originally gonna go to the outside and then cuts it back into the middle a good decision for tallest right there is now second and three, going to Tolis a second time. 
Slicing deep into Iroquois territory. The Chiefs in the red zone now. As a few plays later, they face third and three. Ready to go ahead and take the snap. And he's going to try to run it in himself. But he's going to be one yard shy. And it looks like they might. No, they are going to go for it. They got to go to Tolis. Can they pick it up? No, they don't. It's a turnover on downs. And with less than two minutes left, all they need to do is run out the clock. One more first down could do it here. As there's a third down here ready for the Eagles. Going to Robertson one more time. Picking up the first down. They'll be able to run out the clock. As they, here we are with another first and ten. Kelly dropping back. Now at this point looking for style points. But thinking differently. Just going to go ahead and slide on down. Still a little bit of time left on the clock. A little bit over 30 seconds left. So can't completely rest on the morals. But that... Looks like they'll be able to do it, though, as they're going to go ahead, just run out the rest of his clock as Robertson pulls off another pretty good run for a first down. Don't need it. So a grueling matchup that we just experienced between these two rival schools, but we know who the winner is now. The Iroquois Eagles were able to come out on top, winning this game by a final score of 20-13. Iroquois will move up to 8-1 on the season, whereas the Huafa Chiefs will fall down to 6-3 on this inaugural season. And we don't know if they're going to remain in the top 25 or not. But still a very good game played by both squads. As this will wrap up today's ACSA Primetime episode. Next time out, we will have at least one more Primetime game. But in the meantime, though... If you enjoyed today's ACSA primetime action, do me a favor and please smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you haven't been new. This is John J. Gaming on the mic. Hoping you guys are all having a wonderful day. Take care, everybody.